The president announced what he calls an essential service for all households across America, high-speed internet to level the playing field for families and students. How many times have you seen a mom or dad drive up to a parking lot outside of McDonald's and just so they could get connected to the internet so their kid could do their homework during the pandemic, literally. It's just not right, it's not who we are. Claudia Howell knows that feeling. She doesn't go to McDonald's, but has found other ways to connect since she can't at home. Either I go to the library or I come here to the center in my community to use the internet, because I don't have internet and I can't afford the internet. How volunteers at the community center at Roll Hill Monday through Friday. There, she can check her personal and work email, and if needed, her son can get online too. Internet is very important, at least for me, and I know it's important for other parents with their kids. Because my son, when he was doing online school, that was an issue. That was the problem. That was difficult. For her, it comes down to price. Subsidized internet would open a new door for her family. That's one bill. <laughs> that I don't have to stress about or worry about. It's one less hurdle for her family as she reaches for new opportunities and her son continues his education. She suspects the ripples of this program will be felt throughout her community. And then I have neighbors, they can't afford it. So this program will help a lot of people along the way. So who's eligible? The federal government says about 40 percent of Americans will qualify. That's a long list, including any household at or below 200 percent of the poverty line. Anyone on SNAP, Medicaid or receiving housing assistance. We do have a link to that full list on our website, WLWT.com. Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.